I'm Mike Supple with SuppleWine.com showing you how to open bottles of wine. Today we're going to be using a type of opener called an ASO. This is it right here. ASO. It's convenient because it's got this little tab on the top you can open beer bottles with. So if you're struggling getting the bottle open, you need a drink to help you out and do that first. But So the ASO comprises of two prongs. The point of these now is to slide the prongs down on either side of the cork and then pull the cork out. It doesn't put any holes in the cork, it leaves the cork fully intact. And it's actually a really nice way to open if you want to put a cork back into the bottle later. You can put the cork back in and slide it back in the bottle. We'll show you how to do that. The one drawback of the Asso, it doesn't have a blade on it to can't cut the capsule or, or get the foil off. But that's not really an issue. So all we got to do here is take the foil, kind of twist it around, pull the foil off. Now if you're not pouring for the president, it doesn't really matter if there's a foil ring around there anymore. It doesn't matter how pretty it looks. So let's go ahead and show you how to use the Asso here. All right. So again, it's got two prongs. One prong is always a little bit longer than the other one. You want to start by just sliding the longer prong in along the edge of the cork. You sort of find an edge and sort of, it helps if you rock it back and forth and wiggle a little bit and it starts to slide in along the edge. And once you get that down in far enough, you get the other little, the shorter edge in there. Again, it helps if you rock it back and forth. So I'm applying downward pressure now. Rocking it back and forth, nice and slow, and you can see it's getting a little bit down. Again, rocking it back and forth, left and right, just again from side to side. Just slide that all the way down here. And now, since we have the foil capsule off, it's actually you can see pretty easily here. It slides all the way down inside. Just getting a nice little. You can see that slid down, see right there. There we go. You can see that slid down all against the side of the cork. Get along the other side. So it's all the way at the bottom. Now what you do to get it out, you start twisting the bottle and pulling up. So basically pull up on the osso and just twist the bottle. There we go. See it coming out nice and neat here. Uh, no issues. Yep, you can see the cork coming out. Again, when you get when you can tell you're almost at the very top there, you can sort of put your hand just there's not you don't need to do this, but just to keep it from flying off everywhere. Make sure you just get a little more stabilization. And there you go. Cork is nice and removed. Again, if you want to put the cork back in later, you can take the cork off of this thing. You want to put it back in the bottle. Just put, slide the cork right back in there and do the same thing. Put the prongs in, the long prong and the short prong. And you just shove the cork back in there. It helps you can spin it down. You get in the reverse process of what you were doing before. You push and you spin, blah, blah, blah. You want to take the thing off without pulling the cork out, you rock it back and forth. So remember, when you're moving the cork at the same time, you spin. When you're just moving the osso, you rock. And there's the process.